This is Dr. Mike Dene with Dental Innovations here in Omaha. Just got done with an implant procedure case on a 23-year-old male that was congenitally missing some teeth. That's another great indication for implants is this poor guy's been missing teeth, was never born with permanent teeth, um, lost his baby teeth so he's just had empty spaces and he's actually filled those spaces for the past 15 years of his life with a retainer that he takes in and out. The teeth of the retainer break, they discolor, plus the hassle of having to take it in and out when you sleep or have to clean it and whatnot. So he finally just got to the point and said, let's figure out what our permanent options are and kind of proceed from there. So we kind of talked to him about a couple different options, including a bridge, you know, cementing a bridge on some of the other teeth and whatnot. The only negative of that being is, you know, potentially having to use the other teeth to support the bridge. And then we spoke with him about implants. He's a great candidate for implants, has great oral hygiene, doesn't smoke, has sufficient bone in the area. And so all the factors stacked up in his favor and we decided to go ahead and proceed with implants. But really quickly, just to kind of show you some of the x-rays, this is what it looked like on his upper right side prior to the implant placement. He was actually missing his lateral incisor, which is the incisor in the top front right next to your central tooth. This is what it looks like prior. So what we look is to make sure there's enough bone in the area, make sure these teeth look healthy, kind of look intraorally, make sure he has good oral hygiene, like I said, and, and get the treatment plan or the get the case treatment plan from there. Procedure went very smooth. Like I said today, we placed three implants in, all in individual areas, upper right, lower right, lower left. Went wonderful. Um, minimal post-op discomforting like that. We sent him home with some rinse to use and post-op instructions, and we're going to be in great shape down the road to get a crown and get these restored. This is what it looks like prior to the implant placement. Level of bone, proximal teeth both look like they're healthy. And this is what it looks like after the implant placement. So basically you see the implant in place right next to the two teeth filling that space flush with the level of bone. His gum tissue is right about here so a lot of people ask and one of the most common questions is, is well, once I get the implant placed am I going to have like a little metal post sticking out? Absolutely not. You never have that. The implant's placed flush with your bone and recovered by your gum tissue. So the gum tissue's over the top of this. And then we let that sit and heal for a period of anywhere from four to six months. We just have to let bone grow around it, heal it, make it nice and stable before we can go in there and put a crown. So the next step, obviously with periodic checks of the area to make sure it's healing and everything like that, the next step actually is we'll uncover that, open it a little bit, put the little attachment post in the center of it, and a crown goes right over the top of that. Like I said, he's doing wonderful, extremely excited after 22 years to finally have something more permanent in place or proceeding towards something more permanent so he doesn't have to deal with his taking in um, his partials in and out and having to deal with the problem those create. So just another um, option for dental implants. Um, went well, went great. So if you have any questions in regards to implants or it's potentially a, a treatment option for you, check out our website at www.dentistryomaha.com or feel free to give us a call if you have any questions whatsoever, 402-614-6300. This is Dr. Mike Danahy with Dental Innovations, where acceptable becomes exceptional.